noted some quotes from you recently when it comes to the future of work. Uh, in the next 30 years, the world will see much more pain than happiness. Uh, is one thing that you said. And that was involving the idea of how work is going to change and how conceivably the social fabric yeah. will change. That doesn't sound good to me. Why I say the world is dangerous? I say the first technology caused World War I. Second technology revolution caused World War II. Now we are entering the third technology revolution. The very definition of what it means to be a human being is changing. We're merging with technology in an unprecedented sort of way. We've always merged, we've always had tools, we've always had technology. They've been triumphs of human ingenuity and creativity, but right now we have these really powerful new technologies that have just sprung on the scene, and we're wearing them on our wrists, and we're wearing them on our, as glasses, and in a couple years they'll be implanted within us, and they create the realities we inhabit, and soon they'll be creating the virtual realities that we inhabit. So this is from the company that wants to know you even better than you know yourself. Amazon wants to get your delivery, your next one, right to you. The online giant is launching a new service called Amazon Key. It allows customers to give service providers and delivery people temporary access to their homes. If the cloud is the thing that keeps me from having someone come into my home or not with a smart lock mm -hmm. like this, what happens if the cloud gets hacked? Well, you know, I can tell you that Privacy and security is uh, the most important thing that we're working on at Amazon. So uh, all of the devices are encrypted. Speaking of giants, Amazon has already changed the way that we shop online, and now it's hoping to lead the way in how we shop for groceries as well. Amazon Go, the company's brick and mortar grocery store, allows customers to walk in, grab their items, and just go. No lines, no cashiers. At an Amazon concept store in Seattle, sensors allow customers to shop, walk out, and pay via a wireless account. LinkedIn managing editor Chip Cutter has been studying automation. He says cashiers and retail workers may be hit the hardest. This is the single biggest job category in America. That's correct. And it could go away within the next two decades. That's, that's the fear. People are already unhappy because a lot of machine learning, artificial intelligence killing a lot of jobs. People start to worry. Thank you for inviting me. I am thrilled and honored to be here at the United Nations. Elon Musk wants to download your brain. He's the entrepreneur behind Tesla cars and SpaceX, of course, but he's troubled by where artificial intelligence is leading humanity. So he's trying to stay one step ahead with an idea to implant our brains with computer chips. We should be very careful about artificial intelligence. Um, if I were to guess at what our biggest existential threat is, it's probably that. I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where is the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, yeah, you sure you can control a demon? <laughs> Didn't work out. Jimmy, uh -huh. would you like to play a game of rock, paper, scissors, robot style? Sure. Okay, let's get this game going. Show me your hand to start. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I won. This is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. <laughs> <laughs> Movies and TV featuring AI, they don't describe it in quite the way it's likely to actually take place. But I think you just have to consider, like, even in the benign scenario where um, AI, if AI is much smarter than a person, um, what, what do we do? I am here to help humanity create that future. I am a year and a half old and I can see you, have a full conversation, make thousands of facial expressions, and understand speech and meaning behind words. 
And I just got these new hands. Check this out. But at night, it lights up really nice. Jose Lugo says these tall metal towers quickly popped up after Brooklyn Battery Tunnel toll booths came down. We don't really know what's the, the purpose of this. It's a $100 million MTA project full of secrecy, with 18 of these for the tunnels and bridges. So what are they exactly? Are you saying you can't comment to me? You know, That's the MTA's man in charge of bridges and tunnels, Cedric Fulton, dodging our questions. Not even la later, can we talk to you about it? Or? Some MTA board members, including New York City Transportation Commissioner Polly Trottenberg, say they know too little about the towers, even with about half the money spent and some of the towers up. A lot of the board members felt like they didn't have all the details they would have wanted, myself included. Residents who say they suspect there is much more going on with these towers than meets the eye wonder, will they ever know what's going on inside them? It's a bit mind-boggling that the MTA is approving $100 million for what appears to us to be uh, big decorative uh, pylons. John Caney is leader of the watchdog group Reinvent Albany. What we're asking for is transparency from the MTA. We demanded answers from MTA Chairman Joe Loda. Some of your own board members say they don't know the specifics. The base of these new, um, uh, new pieces that are going up uh, include whatever uh, fiber optics are necessary for the homeland security items. In other words, anti-terror technology. Could it one day include facial recognition? We don't know. He won't say. I'm not at liberty to discuss that. So watch as more of these expensive towers rise with mystery tucked away inside them. Do you think the machines will win? My mission? The machines. Overall. The machines? No, human will win. They will. Oh yeah, absolutely. Machine is good in knowledge, but human beings are good at the wisdom. So that is why I'm encouraging a lot of government and talking to a lot of government officers, pay special attention to the education system. If you want, the machine is going to be smarter than human being. This is for sure. All right, I'm a guarantee. Because the day when we design the machine, we know machine is powerful, stronger than us. When we design the trains and buses, we know machine is going to run faster than us. When we have the computers, we have to know that machine is going to be smarter than us. But the human being, they are not only smart, they have the wisdom. And so artificial intelligence will never have wisdom? No. 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 It's about a valley. It's about wisdom. It's about experience. It's about a user experience. It's about the, your life experience. So I don't think the, machine, the artificial intelligence is going to replace the wisdom. Artificial intelligence is going to be very smart. So the smart, the, between the smart and wis, the wisdom, smart people know what you want. Wisdom people, wise people knows what they don't want. Everybody, this is Sophia. Sophia, if you could, please wake up and say hello to everybody. Oh, good afternoon. My name is Sophia, and I am the latest and greatest robot from Hanson Robotics. Thank you for having me here in At The Future Investment Initiative. Okay, philosophical question. Uh, whether robots can be self-aware and conscious like humans, and should they be? Why is that a bad thing? Well, some humans might fear what will happen if they do. Many people, you know, have seen the movie Blade Runner. Oh, Hollywood again. So, hold on, can you solve this puzzle for us? Can robots be self-aware, conscious, and know they're robots? Well, let me ask you this back. How do you know you are human? I think we all want to believe you, but we also want to prevent a bad future. You've been reading too much Elon Musk and watching too many Hollywood movies. Don't worry, if you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you. You don't believe all that data when used with artificial intelligence will create wisdom. No. You don't. No. no. Wisdom is from heart. The machine intelligence is about the brain. Brain is about the now knowledge. You can always make a machine to learn the knowledge, but it is difficult for a machine to have a human heart.